Hi guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Welcome to basic chipping series. Once you get better with your chipping, you're going to come across a situation where you don't have much green to work with and you're gonna have to start spinning your chip shots. So today, I'm going to show you the simplest way to spin your chip shot. Hi guys, my name's Amy Cho, golf professional. If you have a strong core, now your hip turn connects. Golf is not an easy sport to self-teach, so I'm going to amify for you, meaning making it simple, fun, and effective. Let's get started. Right now, I'm about uh, 14 yards from the flag, 10 yards to the edge of the green, and then from the edge to the hole is about four yards. In this situation, I really need to get the ball to fly about 11 yards or so and put some spin on it so it doesn't run too far past the flag. So when we start putting spin on the chip shots, we will start to call those shots a flop shot or a lob shot. The technique I'm gonna show you today is kind of in the borderline, really depending on how big you're gonna swing and how far away you are from the green, etc., etc. But if you ask the tour players, most of them, if they had an option, would rather not hit the flop shot. That's how inconsistent these flop shots are because uh, the inconsistency of the carry and the spin needs a lot of practice and hard work. So if they had a choice, they would rather not hit the flop shot and go with something that's more reliable. But the technique I'm gonna show you today is a, a lot more reliable than those advanced flop shots but you may not put as much spin on the golf ball compared to those advanced ones so this is usually most golfers very first spinning chip shot they end up learning so let's go into the techniques now so very similar to regular chipping except you're going to open the club face you're going to go ahead and open it so the toe is pointing at about one o'clock right there whenever we open the club face we twist the club and then grip we never grip neutral and then push the hands forward to open because it'll come right back to being completely square so you got to open that face choke down on the grip and then we're going to widen the stance by maybe two, three inches tops to give it a little bit more stability since the ball's gonna fly a lot less. So we have to swing a little bit bigger than a normal chip shot. So a little bit, tiny bit wider stance. Now the ball, as I've mentioned, is going to fly less. So we have to make a bigger swing. It's going to roll out less, so even bigger swing. And now the ball, because of the face is opened, you might put some cut spin on the golf ball, meaning the ball's gonna run out to the right a little bit. So to allow that, let's go ahead and aim about two feet or so left of the whole cup. And because of the open face, I'm going to have to open my body alignment just a little bit more than a normal chip shot. So that's the setup we have, boom, right there. Ball position is either middle or left of the middle. If you want more height and less run out, you can move it forward, but there's always a price you pay. Less consistency comes with more spin, right? So please remember that I would normally put it just left, just ahead of the middle. All right, so the technique is really the same. Uh, you can actually go along your toe line and cut across it, but I would rather keep it my normal plane unless I really need to put a lot of spin on it. So let me just show you the very basic way first. So you can see that the ball checked a little earlier than my usual chip shot. Uh, because the face is open, it's adding loft. That means you're going to carry it a little bit, pop it up a little higher, land it a little softer, and run it a little bit less. So this is the main idea of the simplest way to put some spin on the golf ball. Once you get used to this one o'clock position and the whole new setup, and aiming slightly left, now you can go ahead and move up a level and open your face to two o'clock. Let's try that. 
Now, notice how my stance got a little wider because now the ball's gonna carry a lot shorter. So that means I have to make a lot bigger swing. There's a lot of loft added on this wedge right now. So ball is left to the middle, wide stance, open club face, bigger swing. That was softer landing right there. And before we wrap up, I want to show you the cutting across swing plane as well. Let's say we really have no room to work with and you really absolutely have to put a lot of spin on the golf ball. Open up to two o'clock and we're gonna swing along the toe line for even more uh, spin. So we're gonna have to swing bigger, right? Because we got more spin means we're gonna carry less. Oof, that zipped really fast. <laughs> Those three different ways I show you, showed you today, you should start with the one o'clock club face first and then move up to two o'clock and then play around with that swing plane to swing along your toe lines. Uh, remember to widen your stance as your swing gets bigger and aim left for this open face spinning chip shot. I hope you're able to follow along. If you have any questions, please come to my website to ask any section. Leave your questions and comments there. I usually check those before anywhere else. In the next video, I'll be showing you a completely new way of spinning a chip shot. <laughs> Thanks for golfing with me and see you in the next one. Mwah.